Welcome to episode 6 of Locomotive Spotlight. This is the series in which we look at specific New Zealand locomotives that I feel are unique or otherwise fascinating and video worthy. Previous subjects have been AB608, the Tadaranaki Pioneer Village engine, DBR1254, DC4260, and Y542. Today's subject isn't really a conventional locomotive, rather she is Baldwin Steam Tram No. 100. This delightful little thing was built in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania back in 1891, originally for the tram system in Sydney, Australia. In fact, she's one of the old Sydney steam motor tram d engines. Sydney started replacing steam trams with electric ones in the early 1900s and Steam Tram No. 100 was exported to Whanganui, New Zealand in 1910. She was initially used in the construction of the Gonville and Castlecliff tramways, but saw little use after 1912. Rather famously, she returned to service for a three-month period in 1920 when Whanganui had a major power supply failure. Thirty years later, the old tram made some special runs up and down Victoria Avenue during the final weeks of the Whanganui tram system. Incidentally, I initially got Victoria Avenue confused with Victoria Street in Hamilton. Fortunately, one of the old trams is preserved in the city, and occasionally runs under her own power on a short line next to the river. As for 100, she was purchased for preservation in 1958, but didn't arrive at Auckland's Museum of Transport and Technology until 1971. She has since been fully restored, and occasionally runs under her own power on Motat's tram line. She is unique in that she is the only steam tram at Motat, the others are all electric. Now we'll look at some footage of 100 in action, captured when Motat had a big tram cavalcade in March 2019. <laughs> Regular one behind us. Uh, so, or should we just board the regular one? It's too hot. There's one right behind. It's us. too hard for me.
thank you for watching episode 6 of Locomotive Spotlight. Feel free to check out the other episodes from this series, which are in my LS playlist. And stay tuned for the next episode, in which we will be focusing on Hunslet DSA 551.